Hey guys, it's Evie and Andy, and today I've actually got um, two tricks, I guess. One of them's advice, the other one's tricks. To do with this, which is meant to be a fox. It doesn't look like a... Trust me, it's a fox. And this thing, which is a whale. Believe me. Or a killer whale. Come on, which one it is? A whale or a killer whale? I, I don't know. It didn't say on the thing. It's a killer whale. Alright. So with things like this, when you're not actually painting freehand, that means there's no lines. Now you're actually colouring something in. What you really need to do is to get a very thin paintbrush here. Like that's the size of my hand, that size of the paintbrush. It has to be very small. So also when you do something like this, you need to make sure you want the colours first. So I have these little palettes of colour. I might want to use the green, so I get the green. And I might want to use it for these leaves here, because you know, the leaves and leaves are green. And I might want to like just kind of see and like, oh that's too, I don't know green like it needs to be Thick lighter too light and then I might need to just try a different color because like when you're an artist well I say artist when you're doing anything to do with art you might end up using different like paint tools like that's a bit too green for me so I might want that's too light um, oh, yeah just ruin it why don't you I might use this one with a lot of water when you're doing anything to do with art um you need to like, you might end up using different tools, so... Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to still use that because I want them to show out a bit. You need to use a very, very thin paintbrush. Like, a very, very thin paintbrush here. You might think I've added a lot of water. I have. That's because... To do paint, you need a lot of water. Sorry, it's very difficult for Andrew to actually do this because I'm painting onto a table. It's very difficult. It's not it really onto a table, it's onto... Thingy. And a piece of paper on the table. Yeah. So for things like this, you need a really thin paintbrush, and also you need patience because it's going to go wrong. Believe me, it's going to go wrong. Like you see here, that bit there, you might not be able to see it. That bit, the darker bit there, that was red, and I had to paint over it so it was green. So things are going to go wrong. Second trick, this kind, of, this one's more of a trick, is to do with this. So I'm going to tilt it that way. Yeah. So with this, say you have a really nice thing and, you say, and you're like, oh, I want to redo this so I can colour it in again, because you know, you might. So if you have something like this where it has good, thick, nice lines, like here, see a good, thick, black line there, what you can actually do is press down on it and indent it into the paper beneath it if you've got more paper or the pencil, I'm breaking the pencil. You need to press very difficult so you might actually end up breaking your pencil. So I do that, so you can see there, it's actually gone through a little bit. I'm going to go over it. And you've got a bit of it. See there? It's not quite the same. Sorry. Obviously, it's not going to be the same. Maybe but it, there you go. See, it's not quite the same, but you can do it so that it looks the same. See? It's similar, but not quite the same. It does work. Or you can just trace over it where you put this under this and you hold some light up to it. You can't see it like that. It doesn't work if you're holding a camera. Put some light onto it. So that it actually shows through the other sheet of paper. I'm just like so. the camera's going over my sort of going over my head, <laughs> so people can okay. see. Okay, so I think that's all. So that's just a short video, not much to say on it. Just some little arty tricks if you're actually wanting to paint anything. Actually, now that I remember it, there's actually one other thing that I want to show you. If you're recreating something like this with a nice thick, even black line, see it's nice and even. <laughs> Yeah, well, you could get a sharpie if you want, because that always shows a nice even thing. But if you like, say, this black one here, yes, that's the white. Sharpies are, sharpies are expensive. Yeah, if, if you're like, if you're too lazy, like me, to get actually get a sharpie, you could use the side of your brush, and it does create a nice thick line. But if you're like, yeah, that's a bit too thick for me, because it is even. Apart from there, which the paint ran out, it is even. However. It can get a bit annoying to having to hold your brush like that for the rest of the whole picture. If you really want, you can and just use a broken pencil because I can just do that. I'm lazy, okay. And um, you could just oh, kind. Of... <laughs> oh, that's my hand. Yep. Hello. And then you could use like a very thin bit if you want and have it change. Or like me, you have fancy nice fancy paintbrushes then what you can do is take one that's like that you can see it's flat if we can even find it 
Mm. There we go. It's like flat, so if you don't like that and then like that, it's flat. So you could use this. Yes, this is orange. No, I haven't coloured it in orange. It's just how it came. You could use this and also just, I'll just wax it. I'll just whack the camera. Stop whacking the camera. Just whack the camera. This does make a nice thick line as well. If you get Stop anything. Stop putting in your hand or I'll bite it off. If you. This does make a nice thick line. Obviously, you need a steady hand because I don't have that. This does create a nice thick line as well. But any anything, if it's like this thin or whether you want it. This thing, the best thing is to do is to get a flat brush like this one is. You see, like that. I've let them show up. You can see it's flat. Yeah. You want a nice, thick, flat brush for it, whether you're making a line or a thin, a thick one or a thin one. You want a nice, flat brush. That's all for today. I'll see you all sometime in the next couple of months. <laughs> Bye, guys! So